What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. Why you lie? It ain't July. Nah, nah. Why you lie? It's July. It ain't you. I almost had it to end my thing, y'all, but I was like, nah. You just be like, <laughs> plus that rewind button on her. So, we have everything was going planned until he happened. Now, I looked at the thumbnail, and I seen Curry, man. Now, it seems like some controversial tea. Let's check it out. Some NBA. The year was 2014. And in that year, we saw Chris Paul get the best Curry, of Curry man. in a playoff series. LeBron nice. James returned to Cleveland, which had him looking like a hero again. And Russell Westbrook still had his partner in crime. Heading into the 2014-15 season, everything was going smooth. It looked like big years were coming up for these guys. But suddenly, it would become all about this guy. <laughs> Whoa, Curry, man, not the twerking, bro. No, whoa. Is it just me? Bro, or was that the real? NBA not really been the same. No, before. that's kind of cringy, I mean, Trey, but it's okay, bro. Just don't do it again, please. Don't it's do gonna that. It's be incredible. Please. I can't wait for that. Oh, no. But with Steph's absence due to injury, this might sound weird, but I kind of, you know, miss him. I am not gay. I've never been gay. Come on, man. Don't even play the twerking thing. And don't get me wrong. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth. I actually hated his guts during his dominant days. Why did you, you hate see, him? I'm not even the biggest LeBron fan, but I always found myself rooting for him in the finals because I didn't want to see the Warriors win. The arrogance the Warriors they are showed good. on a consistent basis Look was at Curry, man, nice shot. But with the rumors that Curry <laughs> might make a return next month, I have to admit, I'm kind of looking forward to it. But some players might not be so excited. Okay, I know this topic is Look sort Curry, of old man. news, but I just thought I'd do shot, a video bro. about it. He literally changed the entire NBA history, bro, forever. I always thought his evolution as a player was very interesting. During Steph's quick come up, it seemed like most of the older players had no problem giving him props, but his peers were not so accepting. He's the golden boy. He came in and destroyed record books, won championships, beat LeBron. He's done a lot of things that probably angered other players and other fans. That's why I don't think he gets the respect he deserves. As is That's WWE. sad. Obviously the greatest shooter, one of the greatest Shout out to Matt Barnes, give him credit. When Curry was much younger, Look at Curry, he actually younger. looked up to Chris Paul. He would go to CP3 summer camps and wanted to model his game off his. Both of them grew up in North Carolina, which was another reason why Curry welcomed Chris Paul's mentorship and would try to receive as much advice as possible. Early on, Paul was always seen as the better point guard. And if you were forced to predict who would lead their teams to a championship first, the most likely answer would have been Chris. So it's completely understandable why he was so bothered by Steph's sudden rise to fame. Yeah, Curry was an all-star before all of this, but nobody, including Paul, could have expected this. Heading into the 2015 playoffs, Sure, Chris might have been a little bitter by Steph winning the MVP, but he knew he was fully capable of beating him because he did it before, just a year prior. When the Clippers took a 3-1 series lead against the Rockets, it looked like Chris Paul would finally get his hands on him again to prove that maybe he's just having a lucky season, but that opportunity would never arrive due to a 3-1 lead getting blown. Uh -huh. then injuries would again delay a matchup oh. between them. Oh! Until finally, when he joined Houston, he got another crack at him, but was never successful. Throughout the years, we've seen them go at each other. Damn, on a few that his ankle's broken. A cross over here, a shimmy there, and even stoop so low <laughs> as to kick Steph off the court at the Toyota Center before a game six in order to deny him any practice time. Curry what? kept quiet at first but knew he would get the last laugh, sure enough. You could dream my dream hype this team up, man. When your little brother beats you. Damn you! You get hit the easy one! Steph and LeBron also have a similar connection. See, before Steph moved to Charlotte, he was actually born in the same hospital as LeBron in Akron, Ohio. Really? When Steph was making No some way! So LeBron and Curry are related? Were beginning to notice him, but some were not so impressed. 
Many didn't believe that Curry could survive in the NBA, but LeBron. I knew Curry was gonna survive in the NBA when I watched him at Davidson, bro. Even going to NBA some scout of his reacts. Games. And when Steph arrived in the NBA, their friendship was stronger than ever. LeBron loved the fact that Curry was becoming the star of his own team, but never thought that he would become one of the faces of the league. The storyline in the 2015 season was supposed to be all about LeBron's feel-good homecoming as LeBron looked to finally deliver Cleveland a championship. And he but did out it. of nowhere, the Warriors went from an average playoff team to surprisingly the best team in the league. Yes, sir. And stole the spotlight away from James. Look at Sacramento Kings bench. To <laughs> James Sacramento Kings never won a Curry's championship. popularity like said. rapidly skyrocketed. He dominated the jersey sales, TV ratings, and the love from media and fans. This baby-faced assassin momentarily overshadowed LeBron James. And let's face it, he was obviously jealous. LeBron, Just I fit in it, my man. how insecure LeBron appears to be in these two clips. He always felt like he had to remind us of who he is. I feel confident because I'm the best player in the world. No, you're not, LeBron. Curry is. <laughs> Same way you slowed me down. Damn. You can't. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. Really fine. <laughs> all of the adoration Steph was receiving from everyone was cool and all, but he was confused on why LeBron was starting to become very distant from him. He thought James would be proud of all the success he was obtaining, but quickly realized that wasn't the case. Eventually, LeBron decided to not even try and hide his envy for Steph and made it clear that their friendship turned into a real rivalry now and Steph wasn't going to take it for much longer. The animosity they had for one another was increasing fast and they would ultimately take things to social media. Damn, LeBron got scared, bro. LeBron went out of his way to have these special cookies made for one of his Halloween parties. Really, LeBron? Wasn't going to wow, just bro, that's quiet. immature, yo. Yeah. is mocking LeBron, recreating that one gym video. Yeah, their relationship got real ugly. But the disdain <laughs> for Steph doesn't end there. Now, this might sound weird, but in my opinion, ever since that one shot Curry hit against OKC, back when Curry was really destroying everyone, Curry, it seemed man. like Kevin Durant instantly fell in love with the idea of joining the Warriors right then he and did there. A good decision. I feel like KD had his eyes on Steph ever since. And I believe Durant even reached out to Jarrett Jack before he made his decision to learn more about Steph, which was proof that Steph was always on his mind. And when Draymond contacted KD immediately after losing the 2016 NBA Finals, you know KD was all in. Take me now. Oh shit, he's in them cheeks. It was said that Russell Westbrook had dinner with Kevin before free agency in effort to try and convince him to stay with the Thunder. Basically saying, yeah, I'm a BI. This is childish. I want you out. I don't even know why you're still here. Step. Okay, step. <laughs> but it was too late. Durant already made up his mind long before. I oh, know man, it Kevin appears Durant, that Russ doesn't really get along with anybody, but he especially wasn't too fond of Curry. With all the hard work he exerts on the court day in and day out, he felt like he should have been getting the attention that Steph was receiving. No, and nigga. Steph basically you gotta earn that, Russell. KD away from him. That jealousy Earn a ring first, really get an MVP for once. Steph and KD play some defense for once. Multiple championships. Score together. consistent and I threes. I would be surprised if Westbrook was listening to this at night while trying to go to sleep. Yo, this dude is roasting these players, man. Hell no. Nah. Russ did bounce back by incredibly averaging a triple double and winning an MVP. But it's clear you want an MVP. there's still some bad blood between them. Wow, Curry beat so all three of them. As all Steph wants is to be accepted at the lunch table. But it looks like he will never fully get the respect hey, it's all good. he obviously deserves. If he's not accepted, so yo. Now not I everybody in the mess. Guys think. Make sure to comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey, man. That's when Kevin. That was very interesting, man. You know what I'm saying? Just Curry's a legend. He changed the game. I honestly feel like in history, the top players that really like changed the game was literally MJ and Curry. You know, um, anybody else? Uh, 
think any who's your top two players of all time that you think changed the game? As you may coming out of the last rant, and it's been on the road to three million million.